திருச்சிற்றம்பலம் பொய் கண்டாருக்கான புனிதமின மத்துவித மெய்கண்ட நாதன் அருள் மேவனாள் என்னாள் திருச்சிற்றம் தென் நாடுடைய சிவனே போற்றி என் நாட்டவர்க்கும் இறைவா போற்றி ஏகம் பத்துரை எந்தாய் போற்றி பாகம் பெண்ணுருகானாய் போற்றி பராய் துறை மேவிய பரணே போற்றி சிராப்பள்ளி மேவிய சிவனே போற்றி அண்ணாமலை அம்மண்ணா போற்றி கண்ணார முத கடலே போற்றி காவாய் கனக திரளே போற்றி கயிலை மலையானே போற்றி போற்றி வெற்றிவேல் முருகனுக்கு அரோஹரா திருச்சிற்றம்பலம் திருச்சிற்றம்பலம் அண்ட சராசரங்களுக்கெல்லாம் அதிபதியாக விளங்கக்கூடிய முருகப்பெருமானுடைய ஒப்பற்ற பரம் கருணையினால் கத்தார் வாழ் நம்முடைய அன்பிற்குரிய சரவணன் தம்பதியர் எல்லோரும் சைவ சித்தாந்தத்தை ஆங்கிலத்திலே கேட்டு பயன்பெற வேண்டும் என்கிற உயர்ந்த நோக்கத்தோடு ஏற்பாடு செய்து நிகழ்த்தி வருகின்ற இந்த நேரலை சைவ சித்தாந்த தொடர் ஞானத்திரள் சார்பாக த பிலாசபி ஆஃப் சைவ சித்தாந்தம் என்கிற தலைப்பில் தி அன்மைட்டி தி சோல் வரிசையில் த பாண்டேஜ் என்கிற சாப்டரில் நாம் தொடர்ந்து சிந்திப்பதற்கு சிறுவர்கள் கூட்டி இருக்கிறது தெர் ஆர் பேசிக்லி த்ரீ என்டிட்டிஸ் இன் சைவ சித்தாந்தம் சைவ சித்தாந்தம் deals with the three basic entities entities means uh, what we mean is an entity doesn't have a beginning or an ending it exists ever it never ceases uh, to be out of existence so the three basic entities they are interrelated padi pasu pasa padi the almighty pasu the soul pasam the bondage or the blockage in between these two entities now we already discussed some details not in full some details we discussed about the almighty and then we discussed about the soul as a matter of fact we first took the chapter on soul and then we discussed the, the almighty subsequently we have come to the bondage in between these two the almighty uh, almighty is mercy is immeasurable immeasurable unquantifiable unequivocal uh, only we can say like that when we are able to measure we can tell the measure like weight and length or the volume all these units we have for this worldly things but we don't have any units to describe the mercy of the almighty the mercy of almighty is known as the grace the grace is nothing but the unequivocal immeasurable mercy of the almighty otherwise we cannot take uh, attribute any reason for the project of our almighty Almighty has come forward to uplift, to liberate all the souls from the uh, ignorance. Basically, souls, uh, they are with wisdom. They are with wisdom. Wisdom cannot be separated from the soul. They are animated. But somewhere or other, the great 
ignorance, impurity, deposited in their wisdom. Slowly the deposit has to be removed. The process is a very, 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 very long process. It takes uh, countless time. Each soul has taken so many births so far. Consider yourself. How many births we have taken? Countless. As Manivasa describes in Shiva Purana, Ullai, 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 Maramai, Pal Virgamai, Kravayai, Pambai, Sneyai, Janas, is uh, mentioning, for example, some of the births. But the births are innumerable. Eighty-four lakhs species of different types of births are there as per Sayu Siddhanta. When we go to a birth, we take away any one of them. You think of the probability. Mankind is only is one of the 84 lakh types of births. A worm, a bird, a butterfly, a dog, a pig, anything you take, any dog, a donkey, an elephant, and a wolf, a fox. A jackal. Different types. Why so many births? Because the capacity is so thick in the wisdom. The ignorance is so, so, so thick. It has to be scaled up. It has to be peeled up. It cannot be removed all of a sudden. At a stroke, don't think that ignorance can be removed from the wisdom. Maniwa Sagar has again described this as Indana Karuli, Ruhadin, the Ulat Thirty Rang, Ayra Bundan, Indan in Tanbain, and Eparan in the Indialal, the Rizumat in me, Send, Send, Anuva, it came each birth has its own uh, peeling of the deposit. But some of them are useful, some of them are not useful. The souls, uh, uh, they are not, uh, uh, I mean, shrewd enough. They are not shrewd enough. To utilize their births to the positive effect. So, we discussed in the last, last session that souls are provided infrastructure from the inert power called the Maya, an inert power under the control of Lord Shiva. So, Ichai Jnanam Kriye, Ichai, an external trigger, external trigger, to trigger the uh, basic desire of the soul. Then again, another trigger, to bring out the planning capacity. Though not an abundant machinery, at least a little. Take for example an ant. Ant will have a desire. And it will plan. And then it will execute. Only uh, this type of uh, uh, processes are taken for executing or completing any job. There should be a uh, desire. I am saying desire. You can say it as a motive. The motive creates action. Action comprises of two parts. One is planning, another one is execution. So, when the uh, 
soul is to be brought out of the clutches, brought out of the clutches of the ignorance. There is this infrastructure. If a man is not able to walk, he has to use the clutches. Likewise, the infrastructure comes to the rescue of the soul to be active. To be active means to desire, to plan, to execute. So that is why Ichai Yana create and then that should be two boundaries for the travel. The two boundaries are one is time, another one is the destiny. You are destined to enjoy only certain quantity for a certain period, anything in this world. You enjoy the kindness of your mother only for a certain period. There is Niyadi, destined. You are destined to enjoy it for 10 years, 15 years, 20 years, 25 years. Some people are unfortunate. They may not be able to enjoy the kindness of mother. They might have lost their mother in their childhood itself. Likewise, father. Anything. Everything is time bound and also destiny. For example, you are enjoying potatoes in your, in your uh, daily meals. You are very fond of potatoes, but remember. You cannot take potatoes as you like. You are destined to take only a particular amount of potatoes. Once you reach the maximum level or the completion of the destined level, then naturally you are prevented from enjoying the particular thing. That is why people are together for a destined the period. They depart once the time comes. Nobody can uh, save it or prevent it or nobody can uh, avoid it. You have to subject yourself to the column and near the time and destiny. So uh, we discussed five things, Ichai, Yanam, Kriyai, Kalam, Niyadi, Desire, Planning, Execution, Time and Destiny. These five put together is called a blanket, Kanjuham. So the soul is dressed with this Kanjuham, blanket. This blanket cannot be taken off at the will of the soul. God has put it on. So it is not at the discretion of the soul to remove it or to get away with it. It cannot do it. God has put it on you. The soul now is known as Purudan. With the blanket it is known as Purudan. Now you have a superstructure, infrastructure. You are no more a soul, you are a Purudan. Purudan means soul with this blanket. Okay. The external triggers for this blanket are from coming from the Sudha Maya. Isn't it? Okay. There is a trigger for desire. There is a trigger for plan. There is a trigger for uh, execution. There is. There are two fields. One is time. Another one is the destiny. Now, who control all these fields? It should be. You should remember there should be some guidelines or there should be somebody to trigger all these things. Okay. A rifle is there. The bullet is 
shot out of it. But who is to pull the trigger? Isn't it? So all these infrastructure tools are to be operated by different external agents, different external uh, what we call again tools. Again they are called the tools. So without wisdom these are called tools because they are called uh, tools because they are again useful to operate the uh, structure, blanket. Please understand or remember or recollect. We discussed that all this infrastructure are made out of Asuddha Maya. Maya Asuddha Maya. Why do we call it as Asuddha Maya? Is Asuddha Maya is under the control of Lord Shiva? Lord Shiva, will he have control over Asuddha Maya? The pure form of grace, the pure form of mercy. Will he in possession of Asuddha Maya, something dirty? No. He is in charge, he is the controlling, he is having the control over Suddha Maya. Once the Suddha Maya is applied on the soul, it becomes Asuddha Maya. You understand? There is no separate Asuddha Maya. As you have already to, told you, if you apply a white paint on a black background, if you apply a white paint on black already paint, then a resultant grey will appear. The resultant grey is called the Asuddha Maya. The black is the Anavam. The pure white is the Suddha Maya. Once the Suddha Maya is applied, it becomes the impure Maya. Asuddha Maya. Impure. Okay. Now to operate the Asuddha Maya, to operate the tools made out of Asuddha Maya, to, to operate the tools like a time, you have to fill up the time. How long? You have to fill up the destiny. How much? You have to fill up the desire. What is the greed? You must fill up the desire, I mean desire field and then uh, planning field. Everybody doesn't have the same capacity to plan. Somebody plans faster, shrewder. Somebody plans it slower. Somebody plans it uh, uh, not to a very uh, appreciable manner. Why they are different? Because everybody is having the field. All souls are having the same field, but what are the data to be loaded in the field? That is very important. You must understand in the computer sense. You understand? Birth after birth, you understand, birth after birth, these fields are to be updated. For each soul, these are all the fields, these fields are to be updated. For each birth, uh, time field, destiny field, they are to be updated with the new data. Okay, now the soul with the blanket, with the five fields, they are created out of the Asuddha Maya. Now you have to operate the tools in Asuddha Maya by tools in Suddha Maya. You understand? Now Suddha Maya will trigger, will have, let us say, let us say it is by remote. Let us say by remote. Because Asuddha Maya tools are inherent with these soul. They are inherent with soul. But whereas Siva Tattu Angal that we are going to discuss now, the external tools in Suddha Maya, they operate externally remote control. They fill up the fields or they operate 
those tools are known as Shiva Tattuvam. So in Shiva Tattuvam, you have five tools. These five tools are responsible for operating the tools in Asuddha Mahi. As a matter of fact, the tools are in the tools put together called a blanket. Why they are called as a blanket? Because they are interconnected. They are interconnected. Jnanindriyangal that we are going to discuss later, they are interconnected. Kanvindriyangal, they are interconnected. Interconnected organs, interconnected tools are grouped under the same head. Under the same head. Likewise, we, we come to a clear idea that tools are provided for the soul. Tools are to be operated efficiently by the external tools without bias. So, we add one type of tools. Let us uh, list out the tools once again for your reference. Uh, time, destiny, desire, planning, execution, these five. And again these five put as a whole, as a blanket over the soul. Now that is called a Purudan. Again it is a Tattuvam. Again it is a Tattuvam. So it becomes number six. Then Asuddha Maya. So seven. These seven are called Vidya Tattuvam. Or Suddha Suddha Tattuvam. Why they are called Suddha Suddha Tattuvam? It is because it is... Uh, it is originated, these things are originated from Suddham So, Suddham, but they become, they, the, once they uh, come to the uh, wisdom, uh, blanketed with the ignorance, they become impure. So, they are called Suddha Suddha Tattuvam. Suddha Suddham means Suddham plus Asuddham. It came from Suddham. It became Asuddham. That is why they are called Suddha Suddha Tattuvam. Do you understand? Now, the details which are driving, which are triggering this Asuddha Tattuvam, they are called Shiva Tattuvam. Now, Shiva Tattuvam can be put under three categories, under three heads. Shiva Tattuvam can be grouped under three categories. Now, first one is Layam. Second one is Suchamu. Or Boham, Layam, Boham. Then comes Adihar. Layam, Boham, Adihar. Under these three heads, we have five tools or five triggering agents or five pure tools. Suddha Tattuvam, pure tools. They are grouped under these three. Layam, Boham, Adhikaram. These Layam, Boham, Adhikaram, these three groups, they are having five tools which are being used to drive all the Vidya Tattuvam, all the Vidya Tattuvam. Now, how these five tools are generated out of Suddha Tattuva? 
Can they come out of the Sudhamaya by themselves? Can a pot just pop up from mud or by clay? From clay? Can a pot can pop up from clay by itself? Somebody has to do it. Is it not? It has to be crafted out of the clay by a potter. A potter with the wisdom because it has to be with the regular shape and usable. See, I don't have the competency to make pot out of clay. If I am asked to do it, it may not, the, the pot I make out of the clay may not be useful, may not be usable. But an intelligent source, an intelligent source should be there to make usable tools out of the Sudhamaya. Not only that, Sudhamaya uh, should be operated means you should have the competency. A child cannot drive a car. Car is an efficient tool, okay. It may take you wherever you want, but it can a child can operate. So, everybody cannot operate, all souls are not competent to operate Sudhamaya. Only Lord Shiva is competent to operate Sudhamaya. From Sudhamaya to Asuddhamaya, Asuddhamaya can be operated by some souls. Asuddhamaya again, Prakriti Maya, again it can be operated by souls. But Sudhamaya cannot be operated by souls. Only Lord Shiva is competent enough. So the Paravali, the pure space, why we call it as a space means uh, all Sushama or uh, Sushamams are they are available only in space level or Sushama level. Tulam, Suchamam, Adi Suchamam. You understand? Land, Tulam, water. Slowly the uh, Tulam level is coming down and Suchamam level creeping in. Again, fire. Tulam level has gone down, Suchama level has increased sizably. Then comes the wind or air, Suchama level has come to a very sizable and appreciable level. Tulam, of course, has gone down level, level of Tulam. The space, Tulam completely is absent and Suchama is there. You understand how it grows to the Sucham from Tulam. Likewise, in Sudhamaya, it has to be made useful for the uplifting of the soul. It has to be made useful. So, tools are being generated on first hand by Lord Shiva. So, he comes down from the upper level to a lower level from the para sivan para paran from the level of para sivan he is coming down to a level of adi sivan one thousandth of the power is being used to come to that level one thousandth of power the adi sivan seems to be one thousandth of power of para paran Again, the space consists of the Parabaran and also Parasakti. Even though we name it as two uh, different uh, entities, Saparan Sakti, they are not different. They are one and the same. Sun and its rays, 
flower and its flavor. You understand? So, you just think of the uh, Parabaran, Parabaran with the Parasit, that is with the eternal immeasurable power, just takes a part of the power and comes down to help the people, help the souls. Let us call souls in yeah, let us use the general term souls. It comes he comes down. Okay. Paravaran comes down to Adi Sivan. His power now is called Adi Sakti. Previously, Paravaran's Sakti is known as Parasakti. His power is called Parasakti. His eternal power, immeasurable power, unlimited power, unbounded power. That is called Parasakti. Now he is, take, he is coming down from Paravaran to Adi Sivan. Then his power is also comes to a level of called Adi Sakti. So any Sakti, any energy or power, power, energy, power and its usable form is called energy, isn't it? Power and its use, useful form is energy. What is the difference between power and energy? Power is the is the possessive nature. It is a possession nature. Energy is in usable nature. You understand? So now it comes to an usable nature. The power comes to a usable nature. Adi Sakti. Then Adi Sakti, she creates. Let us call it she. That Adi Sakti, we call it as she because the power uh, we consider it is considered it as feminine. How we are having some power, it's feminine. So the masculine Lord Shiva. His feminine power energy is being used to generate all the tools. There starts. But he is ready to generate the tools. He is ready to make the tools. But he wants the clay. He is the potter. He is in with the garden. He is full of ideas. He is full of projects. His grace, his kindness, immeasurable. He has come down to help the souls. Now he is having planned. Now he cannot generate tools out of him because he is full of wisdom. The tools are to be uh, made out of inert energy. The inert energy is nothing but Maya, Suddha Maya. So God is using, Lord Shiva is using a very, very great power, but inert power under his control known as Sudhamaya and there he starts the Big Bang. There occurs the Big Bang. He tries to evolve the, the whole universe. First thing first, there should be a great energy called Nadam, very, 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 uh, the astral state, the very Suchama state, Nadam, very, very high frequency, let us say, in terms of uh, frequency, wavelength. Very, very high frequency, very high frequency. All frequency signals are not audible. And audible range are not equal for all uh, living things. They are different. But 
just to think of the the kindness of the, the mercy of Lord Shiva he has decided to use some of his power to generate the tools out of the Maya there is a clay the potter is also ready he tries to make the infrastructure for the souls but first of all he must generate the driving forces driving forces are called tools again tools in Suddha Maya they are driving forces these driving forces they don't in physical they don't come in physical contact that is why they continue to be Suddha Maya but some of the tools become Asuddha Maya because they come in physical contact with the wisdom of the soul. Some or other I am trying to make pictures, mind pictures or uh, to, to enable you to imagine the things because which are, it, they cannot be shown to you. Something can be shown to you, something cannot be shown to you. You cannot see with the naked eyes, something you can see with the naked eyes. For example, the, the discrete items like uh, water, rock, mud, all these things can be seen. I can show you and tell you. But there are things, there are tools which cannot be shown. You have to realize. You have to feel. You have to understand. Of course, you have to make a creative imagination. Creative imagination. This Sudhamaya is purely creative, imaginable things. You have to think of them. The first sound comes called Nadam, Nadam. How Nadam comes? Because Nadam comes, Adi Shakti, Adi Shakti he is used as Jnana Shakti. Lord Shiva, he comes down with his desire, Icha Shakti, and he uses his Jnana Shakti. That is the part of the Adi Shakti. Adi Shakti is nothing but the own power, the very own power the, of Lord Shiva. So the part Icha Shakti, it is being used to come down to help the people. It remains the same. There is no change in the Icha Shakti. Only Yana Shakti and Kriya Shakti, they will be uh, increased, they will be decreased, they will be mixed, they will be used in pure form and they will be used in mixed form like this. These two energies are used by Lord Shiva to evolve so many tools in Suddha Maya. Okay, in Suddha Maya, Lord Shiva uses his power Adi Shakti, the portion of Adi Shakti, Icha Shakti, he is applied on Sudhamaya to create Nadam. So the first tool, triggering tool, driving tool. So what do we call all the Tatuams in Sudhamaya are called driving tools. All the Tatuams in Asudhamaya are driven tools. You understand? So they, these are all driving tools. Driving tools are in Suddha Maya. Driven tools are uh, in Asuddha Maya. That transduces processing unit. It is in Prakriti Maya. Some or other I am trying to understand giving you. I am trying to give you so many examples to make you imagine. But uh, don't apply the uh, examples in pure form. They are used, they are being uttered, they are being given to you to make you understand or to make you imagine the things which are very, very sushama. You understand? 
சுதவாய டூல்ஸ் டிரைவிங் டூல்ஸ் ஆர் அதி சூட்சமம் த மோஸ்ட் மைன்யூட் த செகண்ட் வித்யாதத்துவம் தே ஆர் கால்டு சூட்சமம் அதி சூட்சமும் சூட்சமம் தென் த ப்ராசஸிங் யூனிட் தே ஆர் கால்டு தூலம் யார் தூலம் பிகாஸ் யூ கேன் சி யுவர் ஐ யூ கேன் சி யுவர் இயர் you can see your tongue all these are uh, feelable they are in vision you have you need not have to imagine how a, uh, how an eye will look like do you have to imagine no not at all you see you understand but what about uh, the uh, manam that we come to later in the next session we will discuss with uh, these tools this processing uh, unit that we will come to later now we are discussing shuddha tattvam why we are uh, using the shuddha tattvam this shuddha tattvam is responsible for the whole driving so the entire driving is done by shuddha maya tools and uh, it is un- it is under their control the yeah. only thing is they are not given as tools by the soul to be operated soul cannot operate they can operate vidya tattva tools they cannot operate you understand they cannot operate shiva tattva tools souls can operate vidya tattva and uh, anma tattva they cannot operate shiva tattva shiva tattva tools are Uh, different we understand some tools are usable some tools are cannot be cannot be operated cannot be touched by you you can use the let us say for example you can use the um let us say whatsapp application you can use it can you change the principles of whatsapp policy of whatsapp can you change no you cannot say those are all framed now you are using it that's all you can use you cannot change the policy or the software of uh, whatsapp likewise i'm just telling you an example likewise you can use it you know you cannot change the system you can use the car can you change the system you have to put the first gear second gear third gear fourth gear a geared vehicle cannot be used as non geared vehicle so the system has been given tools has been given you are entitled you are expected to use the tools efficiently safely securely likewise that's all likewise shiva tattvams you cannot tamper with or you cannot change or you cannot touch it shiva tattvam as a whole i am just grouping it shiva tattvam you cannot touch it but whereas vidya tattvam are at your disposal anma tattvam again at your disposal okay lord shiva used his jnanam that is the uh, planning power jnanam kriya ichcha shakti kriya shakti jnana shakti out of this these three we have discussed about is ichcha shakti the desire now we have come he is using the part of the part of the power known as jnana shakti on the sudamaye so adi shakti is known as jnana shakti I don't think that Adi Sakti is something different from Lord Shiva. Inseparable, you understand? Inseparable. Uh, 
பேட்ரி ஆன் பண்ணலையா இன்செப்பரபிள் இன்செப்பரபிள் ஐ திங்க் யூ ஆர் ஏபிள் டு ஹியர் யூ ஆர் ஏபிள் டு சி ஓகே டெக்னிக்கல் ப்ராப்ளம் தட்ஸ் வை தேர் வாஸ் அன் இன்டர்ப்ஷன் சாரி ஓகே காட் இஸ் யூசிங் ஹிஸ் பார்ட் ஆஃப் த பவர் நோன் ஆஸ் ஞான சக்தி தென் கம்ஸ் அவுட் எ டூல் நோன் ஆஸ் நாதம் இட் இஸ் த சவுண்டு the form of energy is in sound so, so out of sudhamaye the energy for example battery you have a power if you are using it in a torch light it is converted into a light power you understand a light where it uh, where, where it comes from from the energy is converted the battery chemical energy is converted into the electrical energy energy that is likewise the sound the sound energy it is converted from god's the eternal uh, the sudhamaye sudhamaye energy it is converted a portion of it the sudhamaye portion of it as sound energy only a portion only a portion okay likewise sound energy first comes in nadam sound energy again god uses to create you understand to create a sound energy different type of uh, uh, transducers are required to create sound energy different type to uh, create light energy you have to use different types of transducers from the same energy <coughs> see from the same battery Uh, if you put it in a transistor energy is converted to sound energy if you put a uh, audio record uh, audio system a battery its chemical energy is converted to sound energy if you put it in a torch light it is converted to uh, light energy likewise lord shiva tries to make the energy source the energy source what do you call it is the energy source uh maya he makes the energy so to be available as sound energy and light energy for that he uses his power eternal power this power is used for conversion lord's power is used for conversion large power is required to convert the maya energy so the maya energy into the sound energy or light energy those are the two basic energies formed called they are they are known as the basic tools nadam bindu nadam is nothing but sound energy bindu is nothing but light energy but they are in a very 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 uh, minute state or sukshma state or asta state they are very very sushama they have to be brought to a usable level you understand they have to be brought down to a usable level at the at the time of generation at the time of it see once you take things out of the uh the it has once you take uh, you take uh, the it will be very hard to uh, consume it will be very hard you wait for uh, to come to a eatable level it is not the heat is so much that you cannot swallow or you cannot munch likewise nadam and sound their levels they are at a level from oven they have to be temperature to be brought down to be used likewise nadam and bindu they are brought down to usable level what is that level boham 
Boham means usable level. Well, you have to bring it to a usable level. So what he makes it out of the Nadaman Vindu, he uses his both the power, Yanaman Kriyai. I told you, he used his Yanam power to create a Nadam from Suddhamaya. He used his Kriyai power to make the light energy Bindu from Suddhamaya. Now they are to be brought down. Now he uses, mixes his both power, Yanam and Kiriyai. He applies on Sudhamaya. In Sudhamaya, Nadam and Vindu are there. They are brought down to Boham level, called Sadakyam. From there, everything is evolved. Sadasiva, Sadakyam. From there, everything is coming out. That is, it is called Aru Uruvam. Aruvam things are coming out, Uruvam things are come out. Aruvam means formless, Uruvam means form. So with the form, with the formless, these two types of things are available in Sadakyam. It means the levels Solulaham and Purululaham. Solulaham, Purululaham. What a world of sound, world of light. That is Solulaham, Purululaham. These two things are evolved from Sadakyam. So he creates a Sadakyam where these two are usable. Nadam and Vindu in mixed state usable called Sadakyam. Solulaham, Purulaham, they are coming out of Sadakyam. So he makes it usable. Okay, Sadakyam. Then there should be controls for these things. Adhiharam. Adhiharam. Now he creates two levels. Adhiharam. Why there are two levels? Because two levels of control are required. One level for controlling souls which are trying to reach the maturity and the second type of adhikaram is used for souls which are which have attained the maturity level so souls are two types one trying to reach maturity another already reached maturity so souls reaching maturity Souls are trying to reach maturity. Souls, those have reached the maturity, they are put in Sudhamaya. Souls which are trying to reach maturity, they are put in Asuddhamaya. And another level is also that Prakriti Maya that we will come to discuss later. Uh, as at present, you just think of two levels Sudhamaya. Asuddhamaya. Suddhamaya, there are souls which have reached maturity, they have to be shaped. Fine tuning is going on. Tuning is going on Asuddhamaya. Fine tuning is going on Suddhamaya. So to achieve the fine tuning, he, are, he is using the tools, the Suddhamaya. Adhiharam. In Adhiharam, you have Maheshwaram, Maheshwaram, Suddha Viddai. These two things are there. Maheshwaram is used for controlling Suddhamaya souls, and Adhiharam, Suddha Viddai, is used for controlling souls in Asuddhamaya. You know, understand? So, controls, controls Maheshwaram, Suddha Viddai. Maheswaram control is for Suddhamaya. Suddhavidya control for Asuddhamaya. That is why we have two Adhiharams. Okay, five tools are there. We discussed the sound, the light, and then Sadakyam, Nadam, Vindu, Sadakyam, 
Iswaram, Suddha Vidhai. These five tools are made by the Lord Shiva using his power of Jnanam and Kriya. These two powers are used to make the energy, Suddha Maya, usable tools. You understand? So these tattvams, these things are called Shiva Tattvam. Shiva Tattvam. Shiva Tattvam. Shiva Tattvams are not at the disposal of our control. We cannot control any Shiva Tattvams. But we can operate our own Asuddha Maya Tattvam. And Prakriti Maya Tattvam. I can use the I at our dis, at our at my discretion. I can use my tongue at my discretion. But I cannot use Sudha Maya. I, I, I cannot use uh, uh, Bindu Nadam. I cannot operate uh, Sadakyam. I cannot operate uh, Maheswaram. I cannot operate Sudha Vidhi. Sudha Vidhi out of the country. So they are in Suddha Maya, very pure form. I told you how the impure form is generated out of the pure form. I told you. God never creates a Suddha Maya. Or it is not under his control also. That is why unless otherwise we lose the tools, we cannot reach him. Tattva Sutti is very important, is very important. So, we discussed in this session, we discussed in this session, one, the tools in Suddha Maya, Shiva Tattvam. Shiva Tattvam are driving tools. Vidya Tattvam tools are driven tools. They are being driven. Tools being, be, be, tools being driven are under our control. Driving tools are not under our control. We can only use it. We can only use it at our disposal for usage. So, let us once again say the tools. Nadam, Vindu, Sadakyam, Iswaram, Suddha Viddai. Five tools. Lord Shiva come down from Parabaran level to Adi Shivan level. He uses his portion of the power Adi Shakti. In Adi Shakti, he uses his uh, power of desire. The power of desire is used unchangeable. This power of desire is being used for uplifting the soul's from their suffering due to the ignorance, impurity, darkness, whatever you call anavam. Anavam. Uh, once you, you utter your word, utter the word anavam, you may, immediately you must remember ignorance. Immediately you must remember darkness. Immediately you must remember impurity. You understand? Anavam. Is nothing but nothing but uh, the personification of impurity, personification of darkness, personification of uh, ignorance. Of course, most powerful, know, most powerful. You, you cannot go nearby it. Such a powerful thing. See, once you lose the tools, temporarily, immediately the darkness comes and encompasses. You don't understand anything. You don't know where you are. You don't know what you are. You don't know what you are doing. All these things, ignorance is creeping in. Where it comes from? From the uh, ignorance. Okay. Now, five tools we discussed, isn't it? Nadam, that is sound, basic sound. Vindu, basic light, and then 
சாதாக்கியம் யூசபிள் லெவல்ஸ் ஆஃப் திஸ் எனர்ஜிஸ் அண்ட் கண்ட்ரோல்ஸ் ஆஃப் திஸ் எனர்ஜி அதிகாரம் ஃபைவ் டூல் நவ் he appoints five uh, deserving souls to operate these five tools you understand to operate nadam he appoints nadan a soul with uh, so much of maturity to operate bindu he he appoints shakti the soul in charge of nadam is called shivam the soul in charge of bindu is called shakti the soul which is in charge of usable levels of sadakyam is called sadashiva sadashiva is nothing but a matured soul deserving soul appointed by lord shiva he has selected he has selected he has nominated nobody can question or challenge the nomination then comes the iswaran maheswara another soul appointed in control of the controlling the souls in sudamayi maheswara then comes the suddha vidyai vidyeswara another soul in charge so these five souls are in Uh, say sudamaye uh, and once you want to reach the almighty again the you must be out of the control of the driving tools also it's not enough if you come out of driven tools you must also come out of the driving tools you must reach the lotus feet of lord shiva to enjoy the eternal bliss of lord shiva to completely null away the sufferings you have so far suffered all these births with the clutches of uh, anabha okay now with this i want to conclude this session and uh, now we have discussed uh, shiva tattvam in this session so out of maya last time we discussed uh, vidya tattvam this session we discussed shiva tattvam later on we will go to anabha tattvam in our next session uh, once again i have to thank the qatar couple mrs sarvanan and mr sarvanan because they have taken so much of pains to arrange these sessions um, i think day by day uh, people which are not who are not very conversant with the tamil they i think they will be able to follow the saiva siddhantam the philosophy of saiva siddhantam though not to the greater extent at least to a Uh, basic level they will be able to understand and appreciate the philosophy of saiva siddhanta with this let me conclude and uh, i have to give my wishes for the special navaratri the navaratri week uh, celebrate the navaratri with the prayers offered to the shakti form of lord shiva okay uh, let me utter the five letter mandala now five times kindly follow me tirichitrambaram ओ नम शिवाय 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 तिरचित्रम बलम ते नाडुडे शिवने बोत्री ये नाटवर्कम इलेवाबोत्री वेटवेल मुर्गनक अरोहर तिरचित्रम बलम